Hey guys, so I'm going to um, do a pour on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and we're going to do it fairly quickly. I have 15 minutes, so um, <clears throat> most of my time is always spent mixing the paints. Um, so let's get going. I have Artist Loft Flow White. And Art Minds Metallic uh, Sapphire, brushed metallic sapphire. Um, this is mixed uh, eight ounces of Floetrol to a whole bottle of uh, the Art Minds. It is uh, 3.2 ounces. Um, this is Anthroquinone Blue by Golden. And um, it was a fluid acrylic, so or a high flow acrylic, so it's you mix it to where you'd prefer the color depth. It's all preference at that point. Um, so this is Deco Arts 24K Gold Extreme Machine, mixed equal parts Floetrol to paint. I'm going to use some of Arteza's Bordeaux Red. Uh, there's about seven, this is a nine ounce cup, seven ounces of Floetrol to about an ounce of the paint. This is Diox, um, no, this is Violet, per, uh, Arteza's Violet. And this is also mixed the same amount, about seven ounces of Floetrol to, um, an ounce or so of the paint. This is Brush Metallics to Amethyst, and that is mixed eight ounces of Floetrol to 3.2 ounces of the paint. It's the whole jar of paint to eight ounces of Floetrol. I'm using Payne's Gray by Liquitex Basics, mixed two parts Floetrol, one part paint. And now I'm just gonna layer. My white is always two parts Floetrol to one part paint and I added a couple of uh, tablespoons of the um, satin enamel to it. I'm just layering up my cup. Not sure how this is going to turn out. I never really do because I'm not following any previous layering. I'm all done with that. these out of the way. I'm going to pour my puddle and put my paint around it and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I have my puddle. I'm running a little slim on the white paint here. So what I'm going to do is stretch it out. Here we go.
didn't mix up enough. So I'm gonna put some Payne's Gray in around the edges because I don't want this to fold over itself. my torch. I lost my torch. There it is. <clears throat> All right. Pop all the air bubbles before stretching. So this looks like a mess, but middle go over to this corner there's no rhyme or reason why I go to whichever corner I just I just go there <sighs> now I give it another torch I think I'm really gonna open this one up. I'm not crazy about this purple around the edges that I've created. Lots of air bubbles because I just mixed these paints, so. Some black will layer in between. Turquoise. Let's see. I have a bunch of leftover paints over here, so. We're gonna see what works. 
and I have red. I'm gonna mix up some gold, so I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's see what we're gonna do here. <clears throat> No white, so we'll see what kind of... Well, I feel like I should put some white in there, huh? But we'll do it without white. Maybe we'll have a good outcome, maybe not. We're going to find out.
I love the sapphire tips in some of this area next to the red. Yes, kitty. Oh, I love this. It's turned out quite lovely. Very happy. Sometimes you gotta pour over what's there. Um, the last one was too mauve -y. I'm not a huge fan of mauve, and it didn't have a whole lot of composition, which really bothers me. So I'm just torching out the air bubbles. I'll bring you guys in so you can see this. This one's super dark, but really cool. And I'm loving the sapphire in the center and in the tips of all this. And that area is so cool. All right, this looks very blue, but it's very deep turquoise. I don't know what's going on with the coloring, but. So that is the pour for today. I'm quite fond of it with all the red in there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell for notifications. That way you never miss any of my pours. Also, um, Arteza coupon code link is below in the video description. Um, you can put in my coupon code, connect to the links that are provided, uh, U.S. and U.K., what else? I have my social media in there. I have my Facebook, my Instagram, and I've started an Etsy shop. So you're welcome to take a look at the few that I have in there to start. I'm gonna torch. Um, but I, I just wanna say thank you all for your support and kindness. Um, thank you all for the purchases. And um, here's a December pour. Part of my uh, lights. Oof. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.